welcome back to Erin in Copenhagen, the channel for everything Copenhagen. Today we are in beautiful Kristiansand, and today is another food video. So if you think of Danish food, especially if you're not from here, you probably think about things like Danish pastries, bacon, butter, things like that. But if you've ever been here, you might have noticed the hot dog food trucks dotted all over the city. This type of Danish street food actually dates back over a hundred years and is a deeply ingrained part of Danish society and culture. And they all have one very special thing in common, so stay tuned to find out what that is and we're going to try out one of the hot dogs today and you can see which is my favorite hot dog. So before we go and grab a hot dog, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of them first and how they came to be in the city because it's actually quite an interesting story. The man behind bringing hot dog stands to Copenhagen is a Danish guy called Charles Svensson Stevens. He was actually an orchestra conductor, but he'd also spent some time in Oslo working abroad. Over in Oslo, the Pussevon scene was already very well established and thriving. Charles knew this would be a hit here in Copenhagen too, so he petitioned the council for permission to be able to open some stands over here. At first, there is a huge resistance to having them at all. In fact, it took him 11 years of applying before the council finally said yes. The main reasons were A, local restaurants were obviously worried about the competition and fiercely protested the hot dog stands, saying that it would disrupt traffic and the food hygiene standards would be terrible. And B, perhaps the main concern, was that the politicians at the time were concerned the stands would encourage drunken or mischievous behavior. Think back to my video about the history of Amatov, all those Copenhageners rioting over the stork fountain. I guess they pictured these kind of troublemakers would be going out rioting, getting hungry, and then having an easy way to refuel for more rioting, or simply just encouraging drunkards loitering in the street in general. Whatever the reasons, Charles finally convinced them, and in January 1921, the first six carts were rolled out into the streets of Copenhagen. An interesting side note, these types of mobile food carts weren't completely foreign to Danes at the time. And it was women who actually led the charge in this area. From 1907, the Kopenhagen or in English, the Copenhagen's Women's Coffee Carts, was an organization that provided carts to the streets of Copenhagen, serving mainly, as the name suggests, coffee, but a few also offered small food items like pastries too. Their aim was to reduce the amount of drinking amongst men, particularly the poor working class residents. To discourage them from simply buying a cheap beer, the coffees were priced cheaply and the organization also offered completely free coffee for the unemployed. The organization was completely run by volunteers and all profits went to the unemployed too. Going back to our hot dog carts though, later on in 1942, a group of hot dog sellers banded together to officially negotiate the terms of their trading with the council, which included passing a law allowing only those who were handicapped in some capacity to be allowed to run the hot dog stands. This was approved and used to be the case nationwide, although Copenhagen is one of the few remaining cities where this remains to be true. So when you purchase a hot dog from these sellers in the city, not only are you getting a cheap delicious meal, you're also helping to support a small business owner who may have had difficulty finding work elsewhere but now is able to run their own business. In their heyday in the 60s and 70s, there were 700 carts on the streets of Denmark. Today that number has fallen around to just 100 and 25 of those are in Copenhagen alone. So that's the abridged history of how hot dog carts became a thing in Denmark. So let's walk up to this hot dog cart here, which is easily found in the main square at Kristiansand, right outside the station. If you're ever wandering around Copenhagen starving and want something quick and cheap to eat, just head for one of the stations or one of the city squares. You're almost guaranteed there will be a hot dog stand there. And honestly, I can't really recommend a favorite stand because every one I've ever eaten at has been great. So this is a typical menu, and if you're not from here, it might be a bit confusing what you should order. I know myself as a foreigner, I was most curious about why these hot dogs are so red, what some of these words meant, and so on. So let me point out a couple ones here for you now. Old kneka is a Bavarian type sausage, and knick means like crispy. It's referring to the sound it makes when you bite into the sausage, as it's kind of a crispy outer layer. Medista is a special Scandinavian type of sausage. Often in Danish homes it's served traditionally like this, a cool sausage spiral. It's a lamb sausage with lots of yummy spices and herbs, so super flavorful. Let's see, what else? Osterpulse is a cheese hot dog. 
Pulse Isfub is one wrapped in bacon, and a France hot dog means French hot dog. It's simply referring to the type of bun they use. This one is actually my favorite and what I ended up ordering. Oh, and also, I'm sorry Danes, this is still weird to me, but it's very traditional to get a chocolate milk with your hot dog. It is a weird combination to me, but I don't mind it. Just in case you're not from here and you're wondering why that's on the menu, that's why. So when in Copenhagen, I suggest you try it. All right, let's find somewhere who go along the canal and eat this thing. Thanks for coming along with me today around Kristen Town. If you're a local, what's your favorite hot dog to order? Let me know down in the comments. Also, just generally, if you have any tips or ideas or places you'd like me to make a video about, please write me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Well, see you next time.